I love the scripture where the disciples are in the boat with Jesus and the big storm comes up and, and they panic and Jesus is asleep in the boat and they wake him and master, master, we're going to drown. And Jesus immediately commands the wind and the waves and everything stops. Because in all honesty, I feel like the disciples so often, and I don't know if you do, if um, you feel like, Jesus, where are you? Jesus, are you asleep on the job? And there are two things that I think that we can learn that we don't want to do. When, when we're in the middle of a storm, sometimes we can be so afraid that God is not good. And so we try to take control. Or we can be so afraid that uh, God is not powerful. And then we begin to freak out with that. And really what God is calling us to do is to trust. And um, I know this for sure. I know that if you're not in a storm, you're probably going to be in a storm. I, I know that if, if you're not going to be in a storm, you've been through a storm. I mean, we're all mature enough to know that life can be hard. And often when we're in that storm and we're crying out to Jesus and, and we feel like whatever it is, whether it's looking for a new job or, or resolving a situation with a coworker or, or dealing with a tough issue in your ministry or, or maybe everything just blew up in your church and, and you're picking up the pieces, here's what I know for sure. I know that God is good, that he loves you and that he has it. And I know that God is great. I know that he's powerful and, and he can handle it. And so hopefully as we cling to those things that God is good and God is great, where that will lead us is trust in the storm, knowing that Jesus is always in the boat with us and he's got it.